Hey, what's up, guys? It's Boy What to Do. Welcome to my WWE Monday Night Raw review for June 13, 2016. Is it June 13? Yeah, it's June 13. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe right now. Follow me on Twitter at Boy What to Do Gym. All right, guys. Let's begin a Raw review now. So we start off the show with a moment of silence since uh, you know the Orlando fiasco, the Orlando horrific uh, monstrosity that happened this uh, this past weekend, and uh, yeah. I, I don't I don't understand why people would kill other people because of what they want to do with their lives. I those are the type of people I hate. You're gonna tell me how to live my fucking life? Religious why this is why I stay away from religious shit because it really takes over the mind of people of others and then they do whatever some random random shit. They do with what God thinks is right. Now, God gave us the free will to do whatever the fuck we want. If he did not do that, he would have... That he would have uh, let us, you know, be be straight and whatnot. You know what I mean? Like, he wouldn't let us... I'm pretty sure God wouldn't let us sin and whatnot. I don't fucking know what I'm saying. But you know, you know what I mean. Like, he gave us free will. We do whatever the fuck we want. Basically, we... And, and, and the fact that Jesus Christ had to suffer... The uh, the uh, he has to sacrifice himself, you know, because of our sins and what the stupid shit we do on earth and whatnot, you know. Like this, this is why I stay away from religion. This is why I st like, like this is why I stay away from going to church and stuff because it really makes me think and makes me worry about it. Like, is God gonna hate me? Is, like, did I do this wrong? Uh, uh, like, I always look back on the things I do and shit. This is why I stay away from shit like that. So. Like, I'm a Catholic. I don't know what the fuck religion I have. I don't know if I'm Catholic, Christian. I don't fucking know. Uh, <laughs> I went to a Catholic school. I'll put it like that. When I was a kid, I went to a Catholic school. But I just don't really pay attention on what religion, what religious belief I believe in. I, I, I don't really, I don't want to say I give a shit. But I don't really, you know, like to pay attention because I don't. I just I don't know. I'm not saying I'm atheist or whatnot. I do believe in God and and there's a Satan and the devil and whatnot. But I just uh, you know you know what I mean. It, it's just too much stuff for me to handle. So well, I just have to get that out there. So those fucking idiots who keep thinking that you could change. It's like okay, you're gonna do this. I'm not liking that change. You're not gonna change it. All right. I guess I'm about to end your life then, so I won't have to see you. Even though there's hundreds or millions of people around the world, or at least in the U.S., which uh, like you know are doing this shit. So I'm, I, I'm just saying, if you're gonna kill 50 people because of being gay, then you might as well kill all. If you're gonna, just, uh, I, I'm just saying that right now. If you're gonna kill 50, why not kill all? Because you did, you did a good job of killing 50 people who were having fun at a gay club. Why not just do all then, fucking goons? God sakes. And of course you have to do it the, the easy way, the cowardly way. Just get a gun and just pow, 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 and it's over. So, fucking worthless. This is why I stay, this is why I don't go to clubs or, or gatherings or, you know, a lot of people. Because nothing, anything can happen and I could be... Right in the middle of it, and something bad, barely, like something really bad could happen. Like, you know, fuck that. This is why I stay home because I don't want to go outside and then see people and then just feel like something fucked up is gonna happen. I keep having these visions that the school my that my little sister goes to, there's gonna be like a shooting or some shit. I I keep having weird, fucking fucked up visions of that. I don't know why I do. This is why I stay away from people outside. This is why I just go get the things I want to get and I go home. I don't want to stay outside. I don't want to interact with people, with people that much because it's really not really, it's not really necessary to me. It's not. It's like, it's like you just, you're meeting someone you don't know. They could, they could have bad intentions. You just don't know about it. That's why I stand with this. Stone Cold said, don't trust anybody. It might be a character thing. I take this seriously. And I kind of twist it around. I say, don't trust a soul on this fucking earth. That's my thing. I don't trust anybody. I don't care who you are. Anyone could turn on anyone with a blink of an eye. 
anyone could turn their back on anyone. All right. Just want to say that real quick, just to let just to let you guys know, I don't fuck with people outside. This is why when I when if I get upset with someone, I'm not gonna have a problem because then they could do something stupid and end my life right there. You know, I this is why I if I've any pent up frustration, I just yell it out. But I'm by myself, so I don't have to do something stupid in the end. So I just have to say that right now. Fucking, you can't control your anyone else's life. Don't think that. Oh, cause, cause what the Bible says, you know, uh, um, it's the right thing to do. This is why, like, you know, it's so if it says to kill anyone that's gay, you know, you killed fifty. Why don't you kill all? Huh? Why? Cause you, you cause you're worried that everybody will will gang up and kill you or get you. I don't know how the fuck this raw review be, be, went from uh, a raw review to a rant. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> um, yeah, but you guys get my point. Like, seriously, you just can't control anyone's life. I don't, I don't give a fuck who you are. You don't have no power over anyone. Just saying. Like, God gave us free will. That's all I have to say about that. I'll put it like this. Um, get Anderson and Gallows. Uh... And uh, Vaude Villains won their tag team match. Zane defeated Cesaro. Dean Ambrose defeated K Chris Jericho. Paige defeated Charlotte. And and something else. I for, I I'm on my uh, I I don't know. I'm just gonna talk about things that that was important to me. Simple as that. The Shield segment was great. Uh, also, Tyler Sunil got beat up by Rusev. For that. The Shield segment was great. Ambrose Asylum gotta go. I don't care who the fuck you are. Ambrose Asylum is not good. I'm not saying that because it's just, you know, it's a set with just like, you know, when you go to a, a therapist and they have those big ass notes, those boards on a, you know, I'm not saying that on a, on a raggedy ass carpet on the floor. No, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is there's too many talk shows, Miss TV, Highlight Reel, Cutting Cutting Edge Peep Show, or Cutting Edge and the Peep Show. You know, sh the, sh the last legitimate uh, 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 fucking show, talk show on WWE ever was the Piper's Pit. Besides that, I don't, I don't know anything else. So, um, yeah. Kane came back today with recommendation letter from The Undertaker saying uh, he would be good for the job. I, I, what? What the fuck? <laughs> um, I'm like, wow, well, I'm fr at first when I saw Ken, I'm like, Ugh. we saw this fucker with a mask at WrestleMania. Why is he here now? Like, seriously, with a mask? I mean, with a with a, with a suit for real? So yeah, yeah, that, that nothing much on Raw. I mean, Raw was good. I give it a good six, a good six out of ten. Tonight's show was good, better than last week. Last week was just garbage, but this week was good. This week was good. Yeah, Cena and Styles, their segment was phenomenal, no pun intended. But um, yeah, Cena and Styles and the Shield segments were fucking fantastic. I love both of them. Those were my favorite segments of the night. You know, Kevin Owens on um, commentary with Sami Zayn was awesome too with Del Rio. Why does Del Rio never wear anything else but his ring gear? Like, does he have only ring gear to wear? Like, he's all oiled up, showing his body up. I mean, if I was Del Rio's fucking you know, if I was the real, I wouldn't be doing the same shit. But you know what? You know what I mean. Like you see the guy, you see him with his wrestling clothes every, wrestling attire every week. Like get a shirt, something. Wear casual clothing. I don't fucking know. Hey, like, <laughs> I don't know. Something. Zack Ryder lost to Sheamus in a pointless match, but they're real. They're real. Oh God. Apollo Crews made the save and beat up uh, Sheamus. Sheamus went running like a scalded dog. And that was it. Now let's talk about Money to Bank. Money to Bank this Sunday on pay per view with the WWE Network for $9.99 in fucking United States, but in Canada it's $11.99. You fucking cheap fucks. Anyways, um, by the way, they gotta update their their network. Seriously, um, I'm really sick and tired of walk looking at old shit and I see the same thing. They only have one episode of one year. Like it's not even funny. <sighs> um. Money in the bank. I said, uh, yeah, I see Gallows 
and Anderson and the Fod Villains and Enzo Mori may cast not winning the tag team titles this Sunday. I see New Day walking out and I see New Day and Enzo and Cass at SummerSlam. That's what I see. I see Natalia and Charlotte. No, no, sorry. Natalia and Becky Lynch losing to Charlotte and Dana Brooke because Dana Brooke recently debuted. So I feel like they might win this Sunday. Um, I see. Who else? What else? What else? Miss is not defending his title, which is uh, which is awful, by the way. I don't give a fuck what you say. What else? What else happened? What else is gonna happen on Monday night? Obviously, Styles beating John Cena. I don't see Cena beating Styles. I mean, if they do, then then AJ Styles have to win this feud. If they're gonna give Cena the win at Money in the Bank, they should give Styles the feud, or Styles gets the win, the match. The, the first match, and he wins the feud because Cena doesn't should not benefit from this feud. Cena Cena's not gonna benefit. What's Cena? What's gonna happen is Cena's gonna have is gonna be that guy. Be like, yeah, I had a great match with AJ Styles, and that's it. And uh, I had a great feud and whatnot. You know, it's not gonna it's not gonna hurt him. Cena's done everything except for winning the Intercontinental Championship. He has done everything. I quit matches, Elimination Chambers, Hell in the Cell, Steel Cage, every, almost every match type. He has done it all. This guy needs to go. I'm not lying. Cena needs to go because he has nothing else to do. I don't know how this keeps happening. Oh, yeah, Del Rio and Owens uh, defeated Lucha Dragons, obviously, because I'll be damned if they lost to Lucha Dragons. Kevin Owens is obviously going to win at Money in the Bank. If not, Cesaro. Those are the only two I see winning the Money in the Bank ladder match. I thought Bray Wyatt was going to show up tonight to, be, to declare himself into that mat, the ladder match. But no, no, no. He didn't show up. So I'll be like, okay, it'll be, it'll be uh, Owens or Cesaro winning that match. What else do I see? Um, the United States title. I see Title Chanel winning. I, I should see Rusev winning. I, w I won't be surprised if Rusev won. But uh, I see. I want to. I I want to give titles a chance. I'd love to see titles win the U.S. title. So yeah. So I think that's the whole card of Money in the Bank. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, Apollo Cruz will be facing Sheamus in the pre-show. Also, Dolph Ziggler will be, will be facing Baron Corbin again at the pay-per-view. So oh my god, again. Wow. So. That is it. That is my predictions for um, oh, uh, Apollo Crews beating Sheamus and Corbin beating Dolph Ziggler to end this sh fucking feud. Uh, I think that's all. Yeah. Uh, there you guys have it. My Money to Bank preview. My my Money to Bank predictions and my Monday Night Raw review. Uh, if you guys can hit the like button, leave a like on this video, subscribe now for more. Uh, if you guys agree with my predictions. Let me leave, leave comments down below, all right, in the comment section. Tell me what, what you, who do you think is going to win? Give me a list. Give me a whole list of all the matches and just, like, put them in the comments below, you know? Like, just tell me, like, who do you think is going to win and whatnot, you know? So, um, yeah. Ah, <sighs> Money the Bank only this Sunday. And then, uh... Uh, the brand split after that, and yeah. If you guys made it this far in the video, I just want to let you guys know that once you that SmackDown will be on this Wednesday, and I'll be working on, I'm working on GFW Universe Mode, I'll upload that by today, since it's after 12 midnight. Uh, yeah, it'll be uploaded later on today, 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, at boy 123 gym and I will see you guys next time. John, put over AJ John! I'm out, later!